Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Remy and thank you for joining me on today's journey into the metaverse. The Upland Metaverse has announced their newest city release, Viva Las Vegas. Yes, that's right, we're getting Las Vegas, Nevada on June 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, June 10th is also the release date of the new Jurassic World, and it's also two days after my birthday. So it's a big week coming up. The release of Vegas is going on during their in-person Genesis Week event. If you haven't heard, Upland is having an in-person event in Vegas. So there's an in-person event that is happening along with the release. So that's pretty cool. I'm hoping we get to see some announcements, maybe about racing and the whole cars mechanics during that week. But Las Vegas will be released with a modified strategy where properties will unlock gradually. This means that the initial opening will include 77,000 properties and will only expand depending on market demand. Now, I really like this modified strategy, so they don't oversaturate but the market, but they don't undersaturate, right? They, they can modify it and move along with how the community is responding. I mean, 77,000 properties is not a small amount. That is quite a few, so I'm curious to see if that will get minted out. I'm definitely going for Las Vegas. I think it's a very prominent city. And as always, all collections will be tokenized prior to the release of Las Vegas so they can't change their minds on the collections. Las Vegas is currently planned to release on Friday, June 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Roughly 20% of the properties will be FSA, so if you have $100 or less into the game, those properties are for you. The release of Las Vegas will be preceded three days prior by a stress test on June 7th at 8 a.m. Now that's new, usually they're one day before, but I guess this time around they're giving themselves a little more time to make sure the servers are up to par. So the city information, send fees will be 10 minimum, 50 maximum. There will be an airport and there will be bus terminals. That means you can register to purchase those terminals before the city gets launched. There'll be around 14 to 20 collections that'll change based upon how many properties are minted, of course, because it's the new modified strategy. The treasure hunting in Vegas is tier four. And if you remember, that is the second to last tier. So it's not the best city for treasure hunting. I always like the fun facts about Vegas. This one was most interesting to me. Due to the vast quantity of lights, Las Vegas is considered the brightest spot on planet Earth. Yay for light pollution. Now, unfortunately, I am recording this video a day late, and so the Las Vegas terminal sale is passed. Um, I'm sorry, I missed it myself, but the terminal sales usually happen on every new city launch. And so every time a new city is announced, days prior, there'll be registration for terminals so people can travel to the city, obviously, to mint the properties. But, you know, terminals are like nodes, and I always make sure I go for the registration because it's very low odds that you'll actually get a ticket in order to buy one because so many people are trying to purchase them. So getting to Las Vegas, here are the travel routes in order to get your Block Explorer to Las Vegas so you can actually mint properties when the city is launched. You can fly from SFO, LAX, JFK, or RRD, so four different terminals, and you can also take the bus from Los Angeles, Bakersfield, or Fresno. So that, make sure your Block Explorer is in Las Vegas. You wanna get there sooner rather than later because sometimes the terminals do fill up and then it's a pain to get to Las Vegas. Like I said prior, this upcoming Tuesday at 8 a.m., there'll be a stress test where you can purchase properties in the Winchester neighborhood. And then after that, three days later, will be the release of the full city at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Times, 77,000 properties, and a five minute warning will be issued prior to the start of the city opening. Now they do all of their announcements and their notifications in their Discord, so I recommend joining Upland's Discord if you are planning on getting some Vegas properties. Like Upland says, get ready to tackle the infamous Sin City. So Vegas is coming to Upland. I'm curious, are you guys gonna go for some properties? Let me know down below. Obviously, you don't wanna comment your actual properties you're gonna go for because other people might snag them. But I wanna hear your uh, strategies and what you guys are planning on doing during this city release. I mean, Vegas, Sin City, it's not a small city. I mean, it is tier four, but it's still a prominent area. And uh, there's some celebrities there. And uh, there's some prominent locations with historic value there. So make sure you're doing your research on the city because those collections are key. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.